Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to complete the on-chain DevNet tax on the Entity Space Race to claim your bounties. If you haven't joined the Entity Space Race adverb, check out this video at the top of your screen to help you get started. To complete the on-chain tax, log into your Entity Space Race account and click bounties. Scroll down and click Hatton Protocol. So here you will see a list of DevNet tags for you to complete to earn your extra Astro credit. If you haven't connected your Multiverse X wallet to your Entity Space account, make sure to set it up. You will find the link to install the Multiverse X wallet extension in the description. So if you haven't connected your Multiverse X wallet, you have the option to connect it here. Once your Multiverse X wallet is set up, the next thing to do is to claim test tokens on the DevNet faucet. You will find the link in the description. Visit the link and click open to open your Multiverse X wallet. Click connect and you will see your Multiverse X dashboard. To visit the faucet, scroll down till you find the faucet menu and click faucet. Follow the prompts to claim your test token. Once you've claimed XEGLD, you can start completing on-chain missions on the DevNet. To complete Bounty 1, you need to borrow USH by using the collateral you supplied in this lending pool. First, visit this DAP, you'll find the link in the description. Once you land on the DAP, connect your wallet by clicking Connect. Select Multiverse X Defy Wallet. Accept the connection requests by clicking Connect. Once your wallet is connected, click USH pool to activate it. And here you will see a list of tokens you can supply as collateral. To get these tokens, you need to swap your XEGLD on X Exchange or Ashwa. To visit X Exchange, use the link in the description. Click Connect to connect your wallet. Select Multiverse X Wallet Extension. Accept the connection request. And now you're connected. But in this case, I want to swap my XEGLD for USDT. Since USDT is one of the tokens I can supply on the Hatom lending protocol. I make sure EGLD is selected here. And I look for USDT by clicking on the drop down menu and search for USDT. Select USDT. Enter the amount of EGLD you want to swap. Click trade. Accept the signature request and wait for the transaction to complete. So you can swap for as many of these tokens as you want. The next thing to do is to supply an asset. In this case, I want to supply the USDT I just swapped. I click USDT. Make sure to select the add collateral so that it will be supplied as a collateral. Enter the amount of USDT you want to supply, in this case one. Click supply. Accept the signature request by clicking sign and submit and wait for the transaction to complete. And now my transaction is complete. To go USH, click on the Hatom USD card here. Enter the amount of the Hatom USD you want to borrow. In this case, you won't see the amount you can borrow. So you just click 80% limit and it will auto populate the amount for you. Click mint, accept the signature request and wait for the transaction to complete. Once your transaction is complete, head back to your space race bounty and click this button to claim your astral credits. For Bounty 2, you need to repay the USH just borrowed. So go back to Hatom, click the Hatom USD card, click repay, enter the amount of USH you want to repay, click repay borrow, accept the signature request in your wallet and wait for the transaction to complete. Once your transaction is complete, go back to your bounty and click this button to claim your Astro credits. For Bounty 3, visit the Hatom Staking Hub. You'll find the link in the description. Or if you're already on the Hatom Lending Protocol, you can click on this shield icon and it will take you to the Staking Hub. If your wallet isn't connected, make sure to connect your wallet. The next thing to do is to choose an asset. For this example, I'll be choosing the EGLD or SEGLD option. Click on it. Click Supply. Enter the amount of EGLD you want to supply. Here you can see the minimum amount required is 1.0001 EGLD. So make it 1.1. Click Supply. Accept the signature request in your wallet and wait for the transaction to complete. 
when the transaction is complete you can now mint ush click mint enter the amount of ush you want to mint just click the 80 percent limit button and click mint accept the signature request and wait for the transaction to complete once the transaction is complete go back to your bouncy dashboard and click this button to claim your astro credit for bounty four you need to repay the ush you just borrowed so to do that click repay enter the amount of the ush you want to repay click repay accept the signature request and wait for the transaction to complete once the transaction is complete withdraw your asset by clicking withdraw enter the amount of the asset you want to withdraw in this case i'll be choosing everything click max click withdraw here you have two options to receive EGLD after 10 days or to receive state EGLD instantly. In this case, I'll be choosing state EGLD. Enter the amount of EGLD you want to withdraw. In this case, I'll be selecting max, click withdraw, accept the signature request, and wait for the transaction to complete. Once the transaction is complete, head back to your bounty dashboard and click this button to claim your as to credit. For Bounty 5, the first thing to do is to add liquidity to the USH EGLD pool if you're using X Exchange or the USH USDT USDC pool if you're using AshSwap. So on Exchange, click Earn, click Liquidity, and look for the EGLD USH pool. If you can't find it, search for USH in the search bar, and here you can see the USH EGLD pool. Click on it. Click Add Liquidity, select the kind of token you want to provide, which in this case, I'll use the USH slash EGLD. Enter the amount of the tokens you want to provide and click Create Position. Accept the first signature request, continue, continue, accept the second signature request, continue, accept all the signature requests and wait for your pool position to be created. If you're using Ashwap, connect your wallet, select the Multiverse X, the Fire Wallet, Accept the connection request. Take your mouse to the sidebar and select pool. Select the USDC, USDT, USH pool. Click deposit. Enter the amount of each of these tokens to provide. Click confirm. Accept the signature request in your wallet. And now you've provided liquidity to this pool. Once you've provided liquidity on X exchange or on Ashswap, come back to your staking pool on Hatom. You'll also find the link in the description. Click stake, select the pair you want to provide, enter the amount of the LP token you want to provide. In this case, I'll be selecting everything. Click stake, accept the signature request in your wallet and wait for the transaction to complete. Once the transaction is complete, head back to your bounty dashboard and click this button to claim your Astro credit. For bounty six, you need to unstake your USH liquidity position. On the Hatom staking dashboard, click stake, click on stake, enter the amount of the LP token you want to unstake. If you selected the farm token, choose it and unstake, but if you use the LP token, you can leave it at that. Enter the amount you want to unstake. In this case, I'll be selecting everything. Click on stake, accept the signature request, and wait for the transaction to complete. Once the transaction is complete, head over to your bounty dashboard and click this button to claim your Astro credit. So that's how to complete the DevNet tax to earn your bounties on the entity space race. If this video has helped you, like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any issues, ask for help in my Telegram group. The link to the group is in the description. Join my Telegram channel for more entity space race updates, crypto airdrops, tips, and tutorials. If you haven't joined the Fraction AI testnet, check out this video at the top of your screen to help you get started. If you also haven't joined the Ash Network testnet, check out this video at the top of your screen. And in the video description, you will find a list of all the hottest testnets to join. So visit the link and join as many testnets as you can. So complete your entity space race bounty tax. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video.